Hello there, it's Dr. Albert Chung, your friendly proctologist. I thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me, and I hope you get something out of it and can relate. I'd like to talk about what may be a difficult one for some. It's what I'd call butt or bottom end PTSD. We know PTSD from other, other uh, contexts as post-traumatic stress disorder. And frequently we hear about it with uh, military and people that are serving in our armed forces where uh, someone may go through a very traumatic experience. And whether they witnessed it or personally gone through it, it's a triggering event that can cause people to have flashbacks, to have um, very re uh, repeating and escalating negative thought processes and high anxiety. And I only use this um, term to relate with patients, to relate with you about how difficult it is when you go through something like pain in your bottom end with bowel movements, pain even throughout the day without a bowel movement, seeing blood in the toilet, um, being concerned about all the media that's going around about cancer, anal cancer, rectal, and being extremely worried and having that reminder every single time we have to go number two, which we all do at some point since we all have to eat and use our GI systems, right? And so it becomes something where people um, hide it in the dark because of how embarrassing it is to talk about. And it's very hard to get these emotions out and process these issues that people are having. Uh, it can be very difficult to focus during the day, especially at work, or even with relationships. And I just wanna say that this, um, these conditions affect our GI systems in major ways because of the fact we get a lot of emotional input from our brain. And when we're stressed out, when we're having anxiety, we don't poop the same that we used to especially if we're having pain. If we were to take that pain from our bottom end as an example, well, whenever you sit down the toilet, imagine you're about to, you're thinking, you're about to re-experience all that pain again. So the PTSD triggers in and what do you do? You wince, you, your body just clams up like a shell and you don't want things to pass through there because you don't want to relive it. And it makes you sweat, it makes you incredibly nervous, and it just makes you really want to regress, doesn't it? And let me explain something else to you. And when we're normally in a um, social situation, we're outside, our, there's an angle that's produced between our anus, as if it was a straight line to the outside world, and on our rectum on top here. It's an angle like this. And in this bend here is a muscle called a puborectalis muscle. It's a muscle that's not under our conscious control. It's unconscious control. And it actually is pulling and contracting to create this bend. This bend is thought to create some continence, so it provides a blockage on purpose so you don't have accidents. Well, when we're sitting down for a bowel movement, we need to be relaxed. And when that happens, this muscle then lets up and allows this angle to become more of a straight line and thereby allowing the stool to come out sort of like a direct slip and slide. But if we're having thoughts about pain, if we're getting stressed, this angle, the muscle just does not wanna let up completely or at all. So you may have a slight kink here, makes me, may, maybe it might be a little bit more difficult or it's just clammed up here. And then that's what may force someone to have to push things out and they get hemorrhoidal irritation. It may create more anal pain or fissures and other multitude of issues that they have. They may also feel constipated, like they can't get something out or even like pencil thin type stools etc etc I want to remind you 
again and try to reassure you that these kinds of issues are extremely common and you're not the only one, believe it or not. And I want to be able to um, empower you with this information and allow you to have the strength to come on in, uh, to be evaluated, to have some of your questions answered so that you can relieve your anxiety and start to process some of these things that you're um, going through so that you're, you don't have to have all of these types of PTSD types of um, issues. Once again, I um, hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope that I touched on something that um, you may be able to relate to. If you ever need any help or would you like a consultation, um, please let me know. My contact information is in the description. I thank you once again for tuning in as well. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you don't miss a single video. And more videos to come as I try to get at least a little vlog here once a week. Thank you so much, um, and I hope you have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.